question, the member for Newmarket, Aurora. Thank you, Speaker. And my question is for the Minister of Indigenous Affairs and Northern Development. Oh, great minister. At a time of high interest rates and the rising cost of living, the federal Liberals decided to hike the carbon tax by another 23%. The disastrous effects of this costly tax are being felt in communities across Ontario, but especially in the north. Speaker, northerners already pay more at the gas pumps and at the grocery stores as compared to the rest of Ontario. They should not be punished with more tax hikes. Our government will always advocate on behalf of Ontarians. We will continue to call on the federal Liberals to end the tax now. Speaker, can Question. the minister please explain to the House how our government is supporting northern communities instead of imposing unjust tax? Here, here. The Minister of Northern Development, Minister of Indigenous Affairs. Thank the member for her interest in northwestern Ontario. Yesterday I shared with colleagues our annual ritual where myself, my uh, sweet precious Abigail Mayo and dar darling Poppy Kate and their friends Whisper and Adele joined us in our leap into Lake of the Woods at 48 degrees. Wow. Shocking, PETA. Mm -hmm. But what was really shocking on a more serious note was tourist operators were busy getting on the lake too as well, Mr. Speaker. Now these are small businesses with very thin profit margins. They've got 8, 10, 12, 20 boats, Mr. Speaker, fuel tanks. Can you imagine the cost, the transportation of food uh, and goods uh, so that they can offer tourists from around the world? Uh, one of the most amazing experiences that, that uh, uh, Northwestern Ontario can serve up. Mr. Speaker, the message is clear from those tourism operators. The federal government needs to scrap the tax Response. Our counterparts need to stand with us in keeping costs low so that these folks can make an honest sure. living. Thank you. <laughs> Supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for that response. It is not right that the businesses and families in northern communities are forced to pay more for daily necessities because of this regressive tax. Unlike our government, who is supporting Ontarians, the independent Liberals, under the leadership of carbon tax queen Bonnie Crombie, are supporting their federal buddies. They want to see this tax increase time and time again. Speaker, we know that unlike other parts of our province, the North faces unique challenges that should be recognized, not taxed. The federal Liberals and their provincial counterparts need to respect Northerners and finally get rid of this disastrous tax. Speaker, Question. can the minister further explain why families and businesses in the north cannot afford this costly carbon tax? Mr. Northern Development. Speaker, I've spent the past couple of weeks chron chronicling the happenings amongst the carbon tax uh, nobility, and it's quite a ca cast of characters. Of course, you've got uh, the baffle gab coming from the junior ranks, uh, Prince uh, Carney. I don't know what you'd call Jagmeet Singh, maybe Duke uh, of the carbon tax. Um, nonetheless, no clear position on this tax. It's one of convenience when Canadians speak out against the crushing impact it's having on their everyday uh, lives, Mr. Speaker. But one thing is perfectly clear. The king of the carbon tax and the queen of the carbon tax, uh, Bonnie Cr Justin Crombie, Bonnie. are unrelenting in their position, Mr. Speaker. They see this as an environmental policy when everybody else knows it isn't. What families and small businesses in northwestern Ontario know Response. is it costs too much to live. It costs too much to ap uh, operate a business, Mr. Speaker, and so that's why we need to scrap the tax. Thank you. The next question, the member from London North Centre.